Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to review how to set up these three shortcut buttons on the Brother Image Center ADS 3000N scanner. So what you need to do is down here on your Control Center 4, open it up. And this is in advanced mode. And if you look over here, mode select. There's home mode and advanced mode, but you need to be in advanced mode to enable the buttons. Now, the, you can get to this setting by typing in the IP address of the uh, device in your web browser, or you can use these buttons here. So, we're going to do this one, scan to net settings, which brings you right to the page. You can see that the browser loaded up. Uh, we already have, you see, it says scan to network devices, network device 1, 2, and 3. We already have number 1 set up. So let's do number 3. Now, if you look, you should say, okay, um, what is the type of s scan? Network FTP, SFTP, SharePoint scan to PC. You can send directly to PCs. But this one we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna simulate a application at say a doctor's office where the receptionist would take a uh, insurance card and send it, scan it and send it to a network folder someplace. So this one's gonna be a scan to to network. And now you can see the I had created this Terry folder, but that's not where we want to go. So what do we have to do to, to um, create a new location? So over here we have Scan2, and we're going to name Profile3 uh, Scan to Network. And then here we also have Scan2. So Profile3, I'm going to click on it and create a new profile, and we'll call it... patient, what was it called, ID scan, and I actually, it shouldn't be uh, FTP, so let's go back, okay, pro, we have to set this profile 3 to network, and then submit, excuse me for messing this up. Okay, so when I go over here to profile three, now it's a network. All right, we'll call it patient, patient ID. And now it's asking us for the network folder path. Now you can type it all the way in, or you can go into File Explorer and locate the directory that you want, patient ID directory, and right click up here and to copy address as text and I'll go here and paste it so it entered this whole long network folder path for me now the file name you can have it the file name be customized with this BRN 3000 estimate report order sheet stuff but let's submit this and go and make a new, and we don't want to test it at this point, uh, scan file name, let's make a new one, and let's call it, uh, and it, it has here, if you want to delete a file name, you can get rid of it, and you have the style of the file name, the name, the date, and the counter, the daily counter. The name being the one we're going to make here. Uh, Scanton Network. We're going to call it Patient ID Submit. Okay, so now we're going to go back to where we were. Edit this once again. And we're going to call it patient ID. 
so when you scan it you'll see it'll say patient ID in front of it instead of BRN3005 whatever that is now right here you can say what what you want the um, resolution and color and 200 dpi for an id card is plenty if auto color detect and uh, that's not doing anything now uh, if you put it on auto 200 and then this all set set your thresholds for your auto color detect and your black and white grayscale detect so let's just leave that alone the color is not really going to be important in this application all right so this is more so um, because you may not want people to be able to mess around with um, the ID cards and they're going to come on two separate pages because you're going to duplex scan them so for now let's make it PDF multi multi page and down here you could put type word passwords in order to access these if you made them secure so nobody can mess around with them I mean you could possibly you could possibly edit something in a PDF form All right, so the document size says letter but we're going to be doing cards and ID cards and the the, um, the size isn't listed here so we'll do auto we don't need we don't necessarily need more margins uh, the file size this will make the quality better in large and a little bit less so in small if you're running out of disk space you might want to adjust this auto D skew we want it on skip blank page we want it on if it's only a single side card which most most, most cards aren't and then you can adjust the skip blank page sensitivity two-sided scan it's going to be on the short edge of the id card you can set the brightness to contrast you can set a pin for authentication and you can also set advanced authentication down here uh, if the folder is requires network authentication in order for it to be used this is the ultimate security down here so right now we're going to submit and we're going to ask ask us if we want to test it so you say yes and it tests it out okay so basically now we need I need to go back and set this up again and call it patient ID we did it on button number three submit all right now we'll go over to the device and you can see that the number three button is lit up now now we have the adjustable guides here and you want to put the card in this is an old Radio Shack embossed card from 2006 you want to put it in upside down you can see the orientation here I don't know if you can see it but now you should be able to face down so let's put it in you don't have to mess with this and this is pulled out and it says right there card all right so now that it's in there now that the original is in there we just press the button it jams Part in right cancel the and 
and it jammed again. Now, they used to, I'll give you this sheet here, carrier sheet, they used to have a, a little envelope that you could put the ID cards in, taped in the back here, but I don't see it. And this 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 card is not what you would typically scan. You would uh, medical ID cards are typically not embossed. I don't see the ID card pocket in this package any longer. So let's just keep trying it. It's not liking this. I got this to work no problem the other day. Okay, so let's get something that might be more like a medical card. Uh, here's one. A Walgreens Prescription Savings Club card. It should work better. Okay. You can see it popped right out. And basically that's all we have to do with this. On this end, it go back over to the PC. And find the folder. There it is. All right, now this, these numbers here are the date and the time and the counter. So the administrator would probably want to rename this patient ID, something that be usable for your office. folder. So let's open them up to see what it looks like. Okay, there it is. There's a card. We scanned it at low resolution. Uh, you can also look at um, somehow you can put them side by side. Two page. Go away. So as you can see, we did, remember, we did a really low resolution, but you can see that both sides of the card were scanned, and all the information is there, and we probably should bump up the resolution because of this. So we would do that by going back into the profile. Editing it. And I say let's do auto 300 DPI. And now clean this up so that you can read these numbers here a little bit better. But basically that's it. We captured this uh, ID card. And that's how you set up the three buttons here, the shortcut buttons. For a rather difficult application, now 
these you can take off this plastic sheet and you could write patient ID up here or you know, up here and you know th there's only three shortcuts but it's really easy to to operate this software and when you can if you wanted to scan from your desktop here you would say well I want an image OCR email I want to scan it a file I want to scan it to a printer and have it print automatically and it's pretty easy to do I mean, it's, and and when when you when you install the software it installs this folders here so when you say I want to scan the email or OCR or just a normal scan it automatically routes them to these folders and I believe there's one in the pictures folder as well that is the picture folder but you can also once you go into here you can change your destination folders and let's say we, this is this is scan an image you can JPEG all kinds of different formats size file sizes you can have it open up in a target application so it's really easy to scan to your desktop as well so you can go over there and put some originals in the feeder and scan them in no time and if this is a little bit too much for you to handle you go into home mode and you can see that this everything's a lot easier I mean you just say text and graphics scan and um, you can go in and set these defaults here. It tells you 24 bit color, 300 by 300, 200 by 200. You can go in and change these custom settings to whatever you use most, most frequently. And here, actually, you can get to the scan to network settings from home mode as well. So that's about it so it's really not that difficult to do the to, to do the shortcuts and it's really not that difficult to use the scanner and i hope that uh, this little tutorial helped so thanks for watching